gentlemen, to the final round of the 14th annual Hide and Go Seek Tournament here at Whistler Black Ohm. I'm Larry Wazo with all of your sports updates. And I'm Thorold Wellington, and I'd like to tell you, friends, things are getting really exciting. We're down to the final round in this year's tournament of Hide and Go Seek. And yesterday we saw some startling news. Last year's champion, Reggie Werthers, was disqualified after testing positive for steroids. In his place will be former middleweight, hide-and-go-seek champion, Murray Buckhorn. Now this is a guy who we've seen great things from in the past, and I'm confident we'll see something really exciting tonight. Murray was crowned champion in 1999 and has been out of the game for the last seven years due to a knee injury. And joining us tonight is former European sensation, Sergei Kozlov. This is his first match since being deported from his homeland of Russia after allegedly defiling the president's daughter. PETA activist Florence Estrada, a star of his own Pilates videos, is also a first-timer tonight. Now I think all of those years of stretching will pay off tonight with his speed and agility. And of course, Biff Worcester, the East Coast hip-hop sensation from Fredericton, will be playing tonight. Percy Swanson has skyrocketed to instant stardom faster than any other hider in recent memory after his bold move to hide in a freezer in the 2003 Prince Rupert Open. Right you are, Larry. This guy has become a role model for kids and I really think that it would be fair to say that Sergei Kolsov holds a little bit of resentment for him. Things should certainly be interesting tonight. I definitely agree, Thor. I'm gonna find you. You're mine. You can't hide from the Seeker. As the Seeker gets in position, the hiders are sprung like gazelles. And they're off. They're prancing about like fawns in a grassy meadow. Four, five, Buckhorn six, is chosen seven. to count without the use of Mississippis, which is very kooky. This is the guy the world has mutually come to know as the rebel with a cause, and that cause is winning. Shut up, Larry. Estrada's out for the count. There's not a car in the world that could hide Kozlov's trademark European mullet. You're mine, son of a bitch. Warchess has demonstrated that he is fond of stairwells and dumpsters, yet it appears he's positioning himself next to a vintage BMW. This is very unusual for him. I must say, this is turning out to be a bad day for everyone except Percy Swanson, and we can see him choosing a typical flame in the elevator. This has gotten him into trouble in the past, especially in the infamous 9th Annual Hags Incident in Beggarville, Alberta. Now, as we watch Buckhorn search around, he seems to be convinced that Swanson is hiding somewhere near that stairwell. This is turning out to be one of the most intense games I've ever seen. I'm on pins and needles. Look at the determination as Buckhorn takes a six-story plunge. But Percy Swanson is on his game tonight as he makes a dash for the elevator. Is this going to be another Vegaville catastrophe? Oh, so close. Yet not close enough. Home free. I don't believe it. Percy Swanson has taken down the champion, the rebel, the one and only Murray Buckhorn. This has been an amazing evening, one that will go down in history. And ladies and gentlemen, we have a new champion. Percy Swanson is the winner. This is a sad moment for former champion Murray Buckhorn. His neighbors will no doubt be detecting the pungent smell of death in his apartment tomorrow. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for joining us. And I'd like to thank our sponsors, TELUS, and my co-host, Larry, for being here with me. Drop dead, Thurl. Thank you, and good night.